So you, the newly appointed leader of a team in its forming stage, have just composed a diverse team. The selected employees have the potential to be highly effective. However, you can only reap the benefits of their collective actions when they cooperate with each other. In the forming stage of a work team, members are insecure about their roles, their place in the group and the expectations about their efforts. To reduce these feelings of insecurity and to get your team members to cooperate effectively, you need to facilitate the process whereby team members get to know and trust each other, and you. Stated differently, you need to build your team. Team building is often described as the execution of interventions to increase the extent to which a group of individuals functions as a team. You may have joined one or more of these team building interventions yourself, such as trust building exercises or goal setting workshops. We will not be discussing the pros and cons of these interventions, but will instead look at the concept of team building from a broader perspective. We think it is more fruitful to see team building as a continuous process or a journey instead of an intervention. Although, of course, interventions can be part of this journey.